Hi folks, this is Praveen Kumar from Informatica Support and in this presentation we are going to see how to generate parameter file for DIS workflows uh, in the Informatica data quality platform, right? So we will be looking through the parameter file generation of version 10.x. So let's have a look at the agenda of this uh, presentation. So in this presentation we are going to see have a brief introduction of parameter file generation and uh, importance of parameter file will be revisited and then the checklist of information you should be having available when, before running the command to generate the parameter file right and then we have a example demo and followed by some KB reference articles which you can use for your future references so let's see what's uh, the parameter file really for so parameter file is basically a convenient way to enforce runtime customization of the execution logic of the mappings and the workflows so it provides a very useful way of you know um, reusing your logic instead of uh, creating a duplicate law duplicating the logic for different use cases what you could do is you could prepare a mapping or a workflow and parameterize those uh, options in inside those workflows and the mappings so that when uh, the use case changes by little scenarios you can actually reuse those mappings and workflows for the same thing uh, providing you um, you know redu reduction f of, of a lot of uh, uh, development efforts and also you would see that uh, the mapping is um, becomes more generic in nature and uh, is the metadata of the mapping will be less because you are not making so many copies and uh, it allows you to uh, you know explore the uh, dynamic nature of your mapping and generalized mappings and workflows are something you get as an output from this. So Informatica provides two ways of parameterization and uh, there are two ways. One is the parameter file and another one is the parameter set starting from 10.2. Now, <clears throat> so parameter file is always a well-defined XML file which contains the details of the application, the workflow and its parameter values to be used. So in basically, if you look at it, uh, parameter file is nothing but the values which you want to be substituted for the parameters which are to be used in a workflows and mappings will be provided, right? As a standard practice, many work, many developers um, around the Informatica developers, they are used to providing a default values to the parameters. Now, uh, these default values is what we are going to generate in the parameter files we see. So as a standard practice, it is useful if you provide default values. So default values is also a way to ensure that some parameters can be made as optional so that we can pick up some default values for them. Likewise, uh, DIS actually provides a very convenient way to generate a parameter file for any given workflow using its infa cmd commands and uh, uh, the, the mandatory for this command is that you should have a mapping or a work, the, the workflow which you are trying to parameterize um, has to be already deployed in the application on that particular DIS. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, what are the options you would need before you run this command. So you need to have the domain name handy with you, the service name, the username and the password, which I'm skipping over for, uh, because they are obvious. And then application name, the workflow name. Uh, this is the application which is having the workflow deployed in it. And the workflow name is the actual workflow for which you are trying to create a parameter file. Now you can also use an optional parameter, which is the output file name, which is going to be the the file which would be an XML file created for you. In case you do not provide any option, then the parameter file is just printed on a string uh, on the screen of where you're running the InfoCMD command. Now, for example, you can see the workflow. Uh, 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 in the example, I'm going to show you how I'm going to generate it with parameter file and without parameter file option there. Now, the workflow along with which your application, um, you are trying to uh, generate right the parameters you, it should be present inside the dis already and uh, it is not necessary for the for that particular parameter file to be uh, for that particular workflow to be running but it has to be deployed that's mandatory and the permissions you use for the user the informatica user uh, you're passing in the command has to be having the read permissions on the workflow Okay, so let's have a look at the demo part of it. So this is a simple format. You can see the, the list workflow parents is the command which would generate the parameter file for you. 
you provide the op output parameter minus so it would generate into the parameter file directly if you do not provide it then it is going to dump the xml output onto the screen where you run the infcmd command okay so let's quickly walk through the uh, let's let's quickly walk through the presentation uh, by uh, going to the so so here as you can see uh, this is my infcmd and this is my domain name the administrative username password the uh, the service name, the application uh, in which my um, the the workflow is deployed, and I'm also having my workflow uh, name here, right? I'm not providing the output minus o option right now, so as you can see, it has dumped everything onto the screen. The important thing you should note is this version 2.0, which means that is the 10.0 workflow parameter file, and also you can see some information, and you can see there are three parameters inside my workflow: uh, connection aura. EMP and select star from EMP are the three values which are given to the three parameters connection name, table name, and query. Now, what I can do here is I can just take this parameter file, like I can save it into a parameter file, or I could just edit this parameter file and change these values, and I can pass it on when I'm executing my command, executing my workflow using the start workflow command of the DIS. Right? So let's have an example. How what would happen when I provide an output? So when I do this and I say um my sample.xml as a file name okay so you would see that the parameter file gets generated yeah and let's have a look at the parameter file and you can see the same content which we saw on the screen there is a little bit right so let's go to back to the presentation and um, now I can show you that these are the two KB articles which you might find it very helpful when you are working with the parameter file generation command which I just showed you in the demo. We would love to hear from you. You can send us the feedback on these two channels which has been given on the screen. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your time.